Thank you, Roxanne. Hello. So, yeah, take a seat. Um, so you guys are innovating in wine, which is a very kind of traditional area. Um, but actually, let me start with your background, because you're not at all from the wine industry. Not at all. <laughs> so what did you do prior? Uh, prior, I work uh, uh, as a musician uh, in, a uh, in a band called uh, Green Olive. Uh, we were doing uh, rock and roll in uh, Europe. And uh, then I started to create a startup uh, for helping uh, this uh, musician uh, to, 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 uh, to help them uh, booking, book uh, some gigs, to help them uh, promote them the, the, the shows and stuff like that. And then it works well. We sell it to a big uh, company. And um, I had time and, uh, and money, and uh, I chose to, to, to do uh, uh, what I love most is uh, food and wine. <laughs> but I'm not uh, very good at, uh, at wine, and uh, so, so I decided to, to learn it. And I've been to uh, atelier, to wine testing, to stuff like that. And it was not made for uh, me, I saw. It was uh, too professional. It was uh, for being a chef sommelier. I don't want to be a chef sommelier. I just want to, uh, to, 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 to know how to taste wine and to, and to discover wine in another way. So uh, I decided to, to go to other wine testing. And it was uh, for, uh, not for me. So I decided to, to create a new way to, to learn and uh, discover wine. Okay, so essentially we saw Jolie Books this morning. You guys are kind of similar in what you're doing uh, with essentially wine subscription. Do you want to say, when I sign up for Le Petit Ballon, what do I receive? What is, what's the deal? Alors, if you're a member of Le Petit Ballon, you get uh, two bottles uh, every month at your door, uh, se selectly selected by uh, uh, our chef sommelier, is uh, Jean-Michel Deluc, is uh, the old chef sommelier of uh, Le Ritz. Uh, is a very good guy, and then uh, you have a leaflet in, y in your box where you can uh, uh, learn the, the basics of the wine, and then you go to the to our website and you you can learn how to taste wine with the videos and uh, text. It's a kind of a game. It's a uh, very easy, uh, and it's uh, we try to, to to make it funny also. And uh, to don't to taste wine, to to learn how to taste wine, and to know the wine, the producers, uh, all the the, the wine uh, uh, circle. Mm -hmm. And then, if you uh, like the bottle, you can uh, rebuy it in uh, our website at uh, uh, best prices. De okay, very good. I was going to say d'accord. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so essentially, you have this wine expert. Uh, who's picking these two wines? You're getting a full bottle, two full bottles every month delivered to your door. Does what's the price? Does it change if it's a thirty-dollar wine or you know a very expensive wine, or is it always going to be the same price? And how much is it? Uh, we have two different formulas. Okay. One for beginners, uh, it's at uh, twenty okay. uh, euros, and one uh, for the, the 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 more professional, it's at forty. And you always have two bottles, not samples. Uh, yes, it's a uh, full bottles. And uh, we don't want to, to change our formulas. The, 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 the prices are good. The uh, formulas are good for our customers yet. So, so for instance, for now, it's good like that. We, we will see uh, if, uh, we, uh, if we create another one, uh, more uh, the, the top one. Okay, so essentially, I think it's really interesting that you don't have a background in wine and that you decided to go into this area. I guess it kind of proves you don't need to be from that same um, kind of domain or sector. Um, but when you were going and approaching these different independent wine producers to, to use Le Petit Ballon, I'm sure they were like, why do I need to use this? What is it? How does it work? What was kind of the reaction and how did you get them to actually start using it? It was hard at the beginning. Uh, because producers never didn't understand uh, what were the, the purpose of the petit ballon, uh, so uh, we 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 put our chef sommelier in front of the uh, producer and we say 
Now, uh, Jean-Michel Deluc, our sommelier, will choose your wine, will promote your wine, and will uh, will uh, put your your bottle in uh, in every end of uh, our members. So they will all know your wine. They will all know how to to taste it, and they will all know how to. Um, to communicate with uh, with uh, their friends uh, to your wine. So with uh, Jean-Michel, it was easier, uh, very easy. Uh, alone, I think that no good wine producers uh, would work with us. Uh, so the, this uh, this uh, this Jean-Michel, this somebody, this expert, uh, help us to to begin. And then we have uh, figures. Now we have figures to say if you um, if we work with you, uh, you will have uh, we will uh, buy you uh, thousands of bottles, and they will uh, know your your wine, and they will rebuy it. And we have figures to 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 prove that uh, that it works and that it's good to work with uh, Le Petit Ballon. So essentially, what you're telling me is that the producers were interested by Jean-Michel, exactly. obviously, because he's credible, and also the fact that you were going to put their wine in front of potentially millions of people who could also market it for them. Exactly. Okay, very good. And thank then you, you didn't. <laughs> thank you. Um, so you didn't have to kind of go out there and actually purchase their wine ahead of time, or are you doing that as well? Mm, yes, we are purchase uh, okay. all the bottles we we gave to the okay, clients. Okay, so that's probably interesting for them too. Exactly. Okay, okay, very it's good. It's not at the normal price, <laughs> but it's at the good price. Very good. So, um, I'm just going to go to one last question before we open it up. Um, essentially, what Quentin said this morning is that Jolie Box works very well because of the kind of made in France brand. When people see cosmetics, they like to think it comes from France because of the history and the culture. I'm sure you see the same thing in the wine space. Um, how is this going to affect you guys when you grow? Are you going to only be giving French wines to people internationally? Um, or do you, do you actually plan to bring in outside wines as well? Uh, in France, we are bringing uh, outside wines to for our customers. But uh, the thing is that we uh, want to, to grow internationally. And uh, we are testing in the UK and uh, Peru. And we want to have the the same wine in France uh, to 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 make the the, the Peruvian and uh, the English uh, discover our wines. So the 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 uh, Paris uh, thing for Le Petit Ballon is very good for uh, for us, uh, but only if we have uh, French uh, French wines to to make um, okay. to to put in our offer. Okay, great. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions for him? N'hésitez pas à poser des questions en français. OK, we have one. Um, are you exporting th those two bottles? Do you send them? Do you dispatch them to clients who are abroad or in other countries? And how do you deal with uh, taxes, uh, with the import duties? Is that, a, is that a problem or an issue for you? Yes, it's a big issue. Uh, so we have to find a... Uh, logistic uh, partner in the in the country where we are testing, and then they are with an office dealing with all the taxes and uh, regulation and stuff like that. Uh, but we have to have a certain uh, volume for uh, for making uh, uh, these things easy. Now it's a big big issue. And I think we had. The, the price only. Yeah, the, the, the price is uh, the main issue. Yeah, exactly. And do we have one more question somewhere here? No? Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for inviting us. Thank you.